Afonso IV, called the Brave, was king of Portugal and the Algarves from 1325 until his death. He was the only legitimate son of King Denis of Portugal by his wife Elizabeth of Aragon. Early life Afonso, born in Lisbon, was the rightful heir to the Portuguese throne. However, he was not Denis' favourite son, the old king preferring his illegitimate son, Afonso Sanchez. The notorious rivalry between the half-brothers led to civil war several times. On 7 January 1325, Afonso's father died and he became king, whereupon he exiled his rival to Castile, and stripped him of all the lands and fiefdom given by their father. From Castile, Afonso orchestrated a series of attempts to usurp the crown. After a few failed attempts at invasion, the brothers signed a peace treaty, arranged by Afonso's mother Queen Elizabeth. In 1309, Afonso IV married Infanta Beatrice of Castile, daughter of King Sancho IV of Castile by his wife Maria de Molina. The firstborn of this union was Infanta Maria of Portugal, King of Portugal and Algarve. In 1325 Alfonso XI of Castile entered a child marriage with Constanza Manuel of Castile, the daughter of one of his regents. Two years later, he had the marriage annulled so he could marry Afonso's daughter, Maria of Portugal. Maria became Queen of Castile in 1328 upon her marriage to Alfonso XI, who soon became involved publicly with a mistress. Constanza was imprisoned in a castle in Toro while her father, Juan Manuel, Prince of Villena, waged war against Alfonso XI until 1329. Eventually, the two reached a peaceful accord after mediation by Juan del Campo, Bishop of Oviedo. This secured Constanza's release from prison. The public humiliation of his daughter led Afonso IV to have his son and heir, Peter, marry the no less aggrieved Castilian Infanta, Constanza. Afonso subsequently started a war against Castile, peace arriving four years later, through the intervention of the Infanta Maria herself, a year after the peace treaty was signed in Seville. Portuguese troops played an important role in defeating the Moors at the Battle of Rio Salado in October 1340. Later life, political intrigue marks the last part of Afonso IV's reign, although Castile was torn by civil war after Alfonso XI died. Henry of Trastamara challenged the new King Pedro of Castile, who sent many Castilian nobles into exile in Portugal. Afonso's heir, Pedro, fell in love with his new wife's lady-in-waiting, Inés de Castro. Inés was the daughter of an important noble family from Galicia, with links to both the royal houses of Castile and Portugal. Her brothers were aligned with the Trastamara faction, and became favourites of Crown Prince Pedro, much to the dismay of others at the Portuguese court, who considered them Castilian upstarts. When Constance of Penafiel died weeks after giving birth to their third child, Pedro began living openly with Inés recognized all her children as his and repudiated the idea of marrying anyone other than Inés herself. His father refused to go to war again against Castile, hoping his heir's infatuation would end, and tried to arrange another dynastic marriage for Pedro. The situation became worse as the years passed and the aging Afonso lost control over his court. His grandson and Pedro's only legitimate son, future king, Fernando of Portugal, was a sickly child while in his illegitimate children thrived. Worried about his legitimate grandson's life and the growing power of Castile within Portugal's borders, Afonso ordered in Nesta Castro first imprisoned in his mother's old convent in Coimbra, and then murdered in 1355. He expected his son to give in and marry a princess but the heir became enraged upon learning of his lover's decapitation in front of their young child. Pedro put himself at the head of an army and devastated the country between the Douro and the Minho rivers before he was reconciled to his father in early 1357. Afonso died almost immediately after, in Lisbon in May. Afonso IV's nickname the Brave alludes to his martial exploits. 
However, his most important accomplishments were the relative peace enjoyed by the country during his long reign and the support he gave to the Portuguese navy. Afonso granted public funding to raise a proper commercial fleet and ordered the first Portuguese maritime explorations. The conflict with Pedro, and the explorations he initiated, eventually became the foundation of the Portuguese national epic, Os Lucia das by Luís de Camos. The dramatic circumstances of the relationship between father and son in Inesta Castro was used as the basis for the plot of more than 20 operas and ballets, as well as the Nice Lastimosa and Nice Lauria da by Geronimo Bermudez, Rianar Despues de Mora by Luis Vélez de Guevara, Inés de Castro by Mary Russell Mitford, and La Reine Morte by Henry de Monnelant. The story with its tragic denouement is immortalized in several plays and poems in Portuguese, such as the Lucia das by Luis de Camos, and in Spanish, including Nais Lastimosa and Nais Lauria da by Geronimo Bermudez, Rianar Despues de Mora by Luis Vélez de Guevara, as well as a play by French playwright Henri de Monolent called La Reine Morte. Mary Russell Mitford also wrote a drama based on the story entitled Ines de Castro. Ines de Castro is a novel by Maria Pilar Queral del Hierro in Spanish and Portuguese. Ancestry, Marriage and Descendants On 12 September 1309, Afonso married Beatrice of Castile, daughter of Sancho IV of Castile, and Maria de Molina, and had four sons and three daughters. Afonso broke the tradition of previous kings and did not have any children out of wedlock. Maria was the wife of Alfonso XI of Castile and mother of the future king Peter I of Castile. Due to the affair of her husband with his mistress Leonor de Guzman, it was an unfortunate union from the start, contributing to dampening the relations of both kingdoms. Afonso, heir to the throne, died in his infancy. Buried at the disappeared Convento das Donas of the Dominican Order in Santarem, Denis, heir to the throne, died a few months after his birth and was buried in Alcobaca Monastery. Peter, the first surviving male offspring, he succeeded his father. When his wife Constance died in 1345, Queen Beatrice took care of the education of the two orphans, the infantis Maria and Ferdinand who later reigned as King Ferdinand I of Portugal, Isabel, buried at the Monastery of Santa Clara Vela in Coimbra, John, buried at the Monastery of Saudinish de Odi Velas, Eleanor, born in the same year as her sister Maria's wedding, she married King Peter IV of Aragon in November 1347 and died a year after her marriage succumbing to the Black Death. Bibliography Gonzalez Minguez, C. E. Acute S. A. R. Fernando IV de Castilla, Perfilda un Leonardo, Espacia, Tiempo y Forma, Serie 3, Historia Medieval, Faculta de Geografía e Historia, pp. 223-244, ISSN 0214-9745, Lorenzo Menino, Vandalisa. Cartis de Aras da Reina de Beatriz, Estudios Humanisticos, Historia, pp. 349-358, ISSN 1696-0300, Rodriguez Oliveira, Ana, Rainwars Medieves de Portugal, Desist Mulheres do Ars Dinastias, Quatro Seculos de Historia, Lisbon, Ares Ferrados Livros. ISBN 978989-626-261-7, Soto Mer Pizarro, José Augusto, Lynn Hagens Medieves Portugueses, Genealogias e Estrategias, Oporto, Doctorate, Thesis, Authors Edition, Souza, Antonio Catano de, Historia Genealogica da Casa Real Portuguesa, Lisbon, Lisboa Occidental, of, de Joseph Antonio da Silva, Impressa da Academia Real, OCLC 3,910,285.